Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuir. In this class, we will discuss about uh, lexeme and token in compiler. In our last class, we discussed about the lexical analysis phase of compiler. This is a continuation class. Please watch that class and come, come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, uh, we will understand what is the difference between token and lexeme with the example which we already discussed in our previous class. This is the example we have taken. This is the source program we, we taken. This is taken as input to the lexical analysis phase and the lexical analysis phase is going to read the characters one by one main. It is separated as a word main. This we call it as a lexeme. After that one open brackets. Yes, it is a lexeme. Closed brackets. It is a lexeme. It has read the int. It has separated it. Int. So it is a lexeme. So from this we understand that lexeme is a sequence of characters that are identified in our lexical analysis phase. All these are lexemes. But for each lexeme, we will have a separate token. So what's that? You have to understand that. Each lexeme is assigned with a token. Take the example lexemes. If you find if, if is a keyword, it is having a separate token name and a token attribute. For keywords, we don't have any token attributes. For if, the token name is given as if, and there is no attribute that's why token is given as a like this if if you find i i is an identifier in our program in our program i is an identifier the token name for i is id and we have to provide the attribute value is pointer to symbol table that's why the token is provided like this id it is placed in the symbol table in the first location id comma one the token name is id similarly if you take the less than symbol it is given as a, the token name is given as a relational operator in short it is given as a relop and the attribute value is a token attribute is lt means less than this is how we will provide the token value relational operator comma lt value so this is what the outputs that are generated by the lexical analysis phase means it will read the read the characters and group it as a group the set of characters those set of characters we call them as lexemes for each lexeme we are having a separate token lexical analysis phase is going to take the source code as input and it is going to generate the tokens as output this is the point you have to understand. It is generating the tokens as outputs. Hope you understand the difference between lexeme and token. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.